Hi, everyone. So I am here with what is the Living Libraries lecture series. And so what does that look like? Well, how that is, my group coaching program, what I was doing, what I've been doing, is having a sort of um, every month you get a topic that is pertaining to authentic leadership. And then every week we discuss something more in depth about that topic, right? So um, this beginning month is all about the self. February is all about the self. We're going to talk about the self. And so um, I'm going to do that with my own self, my stories to help you figure out about your own self. Everything we do in this discussion, in this lecture is to help you become a more authentic person so you can become a more authentic leader. And if you like this series, if this helps you, um, please share it, like it, subscribe to it, donate, because this kind of a thing is what we're trying to build with Seasons and Signs Academy, the school of you, right? So without further ado, let's dive in. Um, I want to get right into myself. Now you're going to get this kind of PowerPoint every time. I love to have a visual resource, visual learner. This is a background on me because the first thing that you need to know about yourself when you are an authentic leader is that you've got to know about you. Right? You've got to know yourself better than anybody else knows themselves. So nobody is an authority on McLean Eichel like I am. And if that might be hard, honestly, that might be hard for you. Like if you are somebody who's people pleased your whole life, if you're somebody who's never examined your beliefs, if you're somebody who um, is like, who the hell am I? This is, this is square one. And I will tell you my own story. This is what I do in living libraries. I start it with a story, my own story before people share. Obviously you won't be sharing with me, although you are always welcome to respond to me on Instagram. Um, my DMs are very active. So here's the thing. When I was 28 and I was arrested and I was, for those of you who know my story, I was arrested. I used to be a teacher. I taught for, well, I'm going to actually get into that in a little bit, but taught for seven years, um, got way too close to one of my male students. I emotionally felt very close to him, felt very seen, felt very heard. He asked me questions um, and it developed into a friendship, which developed into him asking me for nude pictures and me sending them. Obviously, as a teacher, you cannot do that. I was 28. He at the time was 16. And so um, all it was was pictures and he saved them. He shared them with his classmates, obviously got back to administration. Administration had to do an investigation. Cops got called. Long story short, I ended up pleading guilty to a felony um, and also being on the sex offense registry. And so um, I always like to just throw that out there because if you're going to judge off of that, it's a very good litmus test that you don't want to be here. You're not in a place for this kind of conversation yet. You're still too busy in a judgment mindset and you're still too busy blaming others. So if that is something that you want to judge me off of, that's cool. That's your prerogative. You do you. But this is not going to be for you because you're not ready to be introspective. You're not ready to um, take off that perfection mentality. Nobody here is perfect. And that is what I found out sitting in a jail cell. Like, who the hell am I? How the hell did I get here? What is going on in my life? Like, I've never even had any run-ins with the law. How am I in protective custody in Somerset County Jail? which I was, I was in solitary con confinement for three days. So like, how the hell is that possible, right? So that is my story to start with you. You'll always get a story before this lecture. So you'll find out a lot about me. I hope you find out a lot about you. Let us dig in. Like I said, the first thing that you wanna ask yourself when you're coming into anything is what are my credentials? And I say that not because you need degrees, but because you need to know why you are uniquely qualified to do what you do. Authentic leadership is all about leading out of your authenticity. You're the only you. So you have credentials that nobody else has, right? I'm not talking about degrees. Maybe that's part of it. Why am I uniquely qualified to teach authentic leadership to you? <laughs> I will tell you, I have hands-on knowledge, practical application, school of life shit, I have theoretical knowledge. I'm getting my PhD in organizational leadership, and I'm writing a dissertation on authentic leadership. At this point, I have researched authentic leadership specifically in solopreneurs um, and have 
researched over like, I don't know, 2,000, 5,000 hours of it. I get my PhD in, in August. Um, and also I live this, you know, I, I live this life. So I teach this, this is my career. This is what I coach, right? It's a hard thing to do to bring people back home to themselves because it means that not only do I know myself well, which is the beginning, but also I am here to help you know you well, right? And so um, I have been working with one-on-one -on -one clients in the last uh, year and a half. And also if, you know, you ask any of my former students who by the by are all between 20 and 30 now, like I said, I taught for seven years and I've only taught high school. So they're all between 20 and 30. Um, with the exception of one glaringly terrible incident, which was a complete dumpster fire, um, I was actually very good at my job. I was very good at my job. My students felt very safe for the most part. Can you please everybody? No. Did I piss a lot of people off? Probably. Might I piss you off? Yes. But here is the thing I want you to know, and we'll talk more about it in a couple slides. I always want to respect you. I'm never here to offend you. I'm not here to disrespect you. I'm not here to upset you, but I am here to give you very important knowledge that you can do a lot with if you will. And so please know my intention is to help you, to love you, to <clears throat> um, guide you, to educate you, never to hurt you, never to harm you. Um, and so <clears throat> on the other side of all the good credentials I have, I've, I've also, I've got a felony guys. Like I have been in the trenches. This is why I said I live this shit. Because like, there's a really interesting little meme out there. It's like, I've got friends with PhDs, felonies, degrees, and um, LLCs. And I've learned from all of them. If you stick with me, I have all of that in one. Guys, I have an LLC. Started it January, 2020. When I was like, I'm never going to get another job that is like I need it to be. I've got a PhD, August, 2022, pretty close to getting there. I will have it by the end of this lecture series. Good Lord willing. I've got a felony. Not only do I have a felony, I have a felony on steroids because of the sex offense. And also um, plenty of degrees because I am a, I have a PhD pending, but I've also got a master's in education and a master's in literature and a bachelor's in literature. I've got over 80 professional development hours, life coaching, a professional life coach, master life coach. And I've got plenty of clients I've served over the last 18 months. So those are my credentials. None of those are by which I define myself. Those are not things by which I define myself. Why would they be? There's no point. But they are things that are important to know because you're not going to be able to learn authentic leadership from anybody else who has all those unique qualifications. You're not. And so um, I learned authentic leadership the hard way. You don't have to. I learned how to love myself because very many people were hating against me. And I was like, if I don't love myself, then what am I going to do with my life? And so um, come with me, come with me. If you are interested in this, your credentials are unique to you. They include your life experience. They include your professional experience. They include your academic experience. It's all very important. It can all be used. Okay. So really take some time after this lecture, if you want to learn what are my credentials? Answer these questions that I have on these, these slides to really help you know yourself. Because this whole discussion for February is about the self. It's about you. You've got to know you. And again, I do take one-on-one -on -one clients. So if you are interested in potentially working together, that could be something that we talk about, not here, not now. So those are my credentials, at least some of them. Ask yourself, what do you love? What are the things that make you really happy, right? Like at my core, I'm a nerd. <laughs> like I'm super academic. I love school. Most people don't. Most people do not love school. I love learning and I love achieving and I love thinking and I love all the things that school offers, but a lot of people don't, right? That's why we have the school of you. 
I have found myself through literature and academics. I am a teacher. It's what I do. It's my role. You know, I'm always going to be a teacher. Doesn't matter if they take my license or not. Like it's just in me to do. It's in me to know. And so I love teaching. I love helping people. I love serving at a high level. I love intelligent conversations. I love real talk about real shit. Like I'm not here to talk about the weather or what outfit you're wearing or this celebrity. I'm not here for that. I never have been, right? Those are things I love. Surface level things I love. I love cats. I love hot beverages. I love music. I love um, all things archetypal. So like elements, um, the sky, the sun, the moon, right? That's why I like the company seasons and signs. Um, I love all of these things that I love, right? I'm not going to bore you with all the things I love right now. They're all things that I can use. I love books. I love literature. I love um, the heat. Like I love um, like the desert. These are important things to know about you. Why? Why are they important to know about you? Why do you have to make a list of the things that you love, that you've always loved, that you've loved since you were a child, right? Because you're coming home to yourself. You already have the unique DNA blueprint inside of you. Nobody can take away. It already exists inside of you. So figure out what do you love? What have you always loved since you were a kid? Because that's the kind of shit you can work with. When you're trying to figure out what to do with yourself, when you're trying to figure out what do I want to be? What do I want to do? What's my purpose? All these questions. Take it back to what do you love? Because that's the, that's the first place to start. It's the first place to start. And it helps you. What are my credentials and what do I love? Helps you figure out what are my unique qualities and abilities so that you don't feel like an imposter, so that you're very secure and comfortable. Nobody else can do it like you because there's only one you who uniquely has these X factors of credibility and who uniquely loves these things, right? So figure out what do I love? Because those are the things you can work with. If you love health and fitness and you've always loved health and fitness, or you can also think about what do I dislike, right? Like I disliked my high school experience. It was God awful, right? Like it was God awful. And we'll get more into that in a different time, a different lecture. We're not going to talk about now, but what do I dislike? Because that's also going to be rooted in what you want to change or how you want to change it. I did not like the way that school forces people to be who they aren't. And I told my students on the first day, I was like, I do not care. And if you've been in my class, if you're watching this and you were ever in my class, you know, this is true. Cause I said it the first day of every class for seven years was this, I do not care what you get in this class. D's get degrees. Just make sure you get out of high school. I can't work with you if you don't show up for yourself. And most of the kids were shocked at that because no, what teacher says that? Teachers that actually give a shit about their students beyond their, their grade, that's who. So I disliked immensely when teachers would, when my own experience, I've been all throughout school at this point, private universities, public universities, Christian universities, non-Christian universities, I mean, you name it. And I did not like, and I do not like how school does not accept people for who they are. It doesn't embrace and, and foster their natural qualities, right? This is why I created a school that's gonna do that. So this is the beginning of it. So figure out what you dislike, injustices that you will not stand for, things that happen to you that you never want anyone to experience again, you know, um, situations, circumstances, and experiences that you will not tolerate. Like I will not tolerate disrespect. Like in my classroom, I would not tolerate disrespect in my classroom. I will not. Now I just turn it into teachable moments because you want to disrespect me. That's fine. I'm going to respect you no matter what, because that is the standard by which I live. Cause I don't like disrespect, right? When you figure out what you dislike, that is another way you can figure out where you want to be, where you want to situate yourself. What do you want to do? All right. So what do I dislike? What do I like? What do I dislike? And um, that can be experiential, right? Like things you've learned from your experience, but it can also be things that have kind of always been in you. Um, 
I've never, and this is a hard one for people to understand. I've never liked children. I don't like babies. I want nothing to do with anybody who like now, really, I want nothing to do with anyone who's zero to 18. That's partially the felony, but also partially because like, I'm no interest before when I was teaching, I didn't even get certified K to six, New Jersey has two certifications, K to six and seven to 12. And when I was going through my master's of teaching program, my, all of my academic advisors were like, you need to get certified K to 12. And I was like, absolutely not. I was what, 20 years old. I was like, absolutely not. Nobody wants me teaching K to six. In fact, nobody really wants me teaching seven to nine. Really what you want me teaching is 10 to 12. And eventually you want me teaching high school, uh, college. That's really like, I knew, I knew, I don't, I don't know what to do with children. And I don't want them. Like, I don't want to be a mother. That's not in me. I never wanted that. Will I rule it out? No. Has it become infinitely less desirable because of this felony? Absolutely. Um, do I care if you want to be a mother or you want kids? Absolutely not. You do you. Figure it out, right? So pay attention to what is in you for your whole life, perhaps, or that you've experienced and you don't like, or behavior you don't like, right? So these are all things to pay attention to. These are all things to know about yourself. And um, the sooner you figure them out, the better. The closer you already get, one step closer to really being authentic because you have to explore yourself. You can't expect someone else to do it for you. Nobody will. So if you don't start questioning yourself or allowing me to guide you through it or someone to guide you through it, it doesn't have to be me, you're doing yourself a huge disservice. You're the most interesting book in the library of life. Please read it. Let me help you. Last thing, what do you value? God, this is so big, guys. This is so big. What do you value? We have a whole generation of people who don't know what they value, so they don't stand for anything and they have no convictions, right? And so they don't feel strongly about anything enough to stand up for it. So they're wishy-washy, like a little dandelion blown in the wind. First air comes through and all the little petals fall off, or I don't even think they're called petals. I don't know what they are. But um, in case you're wondering, I intentionally pick these pictures because they're things I like and don't like. Um, I notice I hate puzzles, really. They frustrate me. I don't like them. I love the night sky. I love the stars. I'm obsessed. And books for life, guys. Libraries make me very happy. Also, this is living library. So, um, and like I said, people are really the best books in the library of life. You have so many stories in your mind from your own experiences that you've never uncovered. And we will talk about them here. So don't worry. What do you value? Please figure it out. It's so important. It's so important to figure out what you value. I hope you do. Um, like I said, one-on-one -on -one clients, this is what I help them do. First thing, first thing what I help them do. Because if you don't know your values, you don't know what you stand for, and you do not know what your non-negotiables are, what you will and will not tolerate. It's very important. I can't stress it enough. We'll talk more about it, so I'm not going to get too into it. But as the introductory, introduction, introductory video to these, this lecture series, library, Living Libraries Lectures, um, these are the questions that you want to ask yourself. This is how the layout is going to go, right? Um, this is what we're going to do. And this, this first video is a little long. They won't always be this long, but um, I'm going to give you some slides to consider main points to our conversation. This month, February is about the self. February is about the self. Um, every month will be a new topic and every week will be a new dive into the topic. Obviously like today is background of self. Um, so we're going to talk more about self. We're going to talk about values and goals and things like that. So if that is of interest to you, I hope it is. I hope that you stay. I hope that you enjoy what we have going on here. I'll be bringing this to you on YouTube and obviously through Instagram. And you are more than welcome to share your thoughts with me. My handle is at Michalina Eichel, and that is on the first slide. So um, it's exactly how it's spelt. And um, I'm going to turn the comments off here because I'm, I'm not, I'm not fielding comments on both YouTube and on Instagram. Talk to me on Instagram. Don't talk to me here. This is just for me to give you this information and you, for you to do whatever you will with it. 
So I hope this is helpful. Really excited to be here with you guys. It's going to be a long lecture series. I've got six months worth of content for you. So you'll, you'll have it. You'll have all the information and um, we will get you to be very comfortable with your own authentic self and your ability to lead out of that space. I'm really excited, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and donate um, because this is how I make my living. So bye, guys.